It's countdown and I am ready. You know, I started last week on Thanksgiving. We'll continue straight through and good news. I will be here live on Thanksgiving morning from 6 to 7 a.m. and on Facebook Live from 7 to 7.30 to take your calls. But today, we're gonna focus on a brioche stuffing. Brioche is really popular. It's a buttery French bread, similar to like a challah bread, and it makes the best stuffing. We're gonna add borson cheese, wild mushrooms, and some real goodness with fennel and leeks. So stay with me throughout the hour as I bring you the latest in 2017 stuffing to get you ready for Thanksgiving. Well, I already started by sauteing the mushrooms and getting some brown on them. What we're gonna do is about, takes about eight to 10 minutes. You don't wanna get them too mushy, but you wanna get a little brownness on it and scrape out the bottom. So we have about a pound of, I usually use cremini, the button mushrooms, but you can add a variety of shiitake as well. Now we're gonna add a tablespoon or so of butter back to the pan, and let's crank the heat up just for a moment because we just took it off the burner. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start to caramelize the fennel. I love fresh fennel. Have you noticed? I've been using it a lot lately in salads and all sorts of things, but this is just gonna be so good. So let's let the butter melt, let it sit in the pan. We'll keep stirring it about 12 minutes. It's gonna be nice and golden. I wanna talk to you about what brioche is. You can get it by the loaf. It's that buttery French bread and they have it at Geyer Sausage Kitchen right in the front and the fresh market and it is such a great bread not only to use for your stuffing but if you have company staying at your house a great idea is to make brioche french toast you can make it a day before and you could just pop it in the toaster to heat it up one less pan one less thing to cook right so now we're going to take the loaf of brioche i let it sit out overnight i'm going to put it in a 250 degree oven just for about 10 minutes and that will just dry it out a little more without totally toasting it. Use soggy bread, soft bread. It's gonna make a real mushy stuffing. Now, for the full bird, I saved, my mother taught me this, the heels of the bread. If you don't wanna have to truss it and sew it up or use the metal skewers, you can just stick the ends of the bread in each side of the turkey, the front and the back, and you're golden. So while the fennel starts to cook, I am going to add some fresh thyme. Things that you want to have in your kitchen are fresh sage, fresh thyme, and fresh rosemary. Not only for Thanksgiving, but this is the whole flavor profile of autumn and winter, isn't it? And with that cool weather coming, I'm so excited, I can't believe it. Now I'm gonna let this cook down for a little bit and then I'm gonna add the leeks and mix that together. When we come back, we're gonna add the borson cheese and it is gonna be a delicious stuffing for you to celebrate Thanksgiving. Ah, the flavors of Thanksgiving. So we have the leeks, and the fennel, we're gonna add about two and a half cups of chicken stock. Now, if you wanna keep this vegetarian, by all means, you can use mushroom broth. And they have that in almost every store nowadays. So that's a really good option for stuffing if you don't wanna to have to make two. So we let that reduce just slightly, add the mushrooms and that juice back in. And as you can see, I've taken the brioche that we warmed up, we just kind of toasted a little more, and I've cut it into cubes. So we're all set for that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bread, put it in here. I have four beaten eggs, and we're gonna mix these eggs right into here and get that soft. Now here is my big trick. I add borson cheese. Now this is a garlic herb cheese, and you can, by all means, you can make that at home with cream cheese and dried thyme and lots of fresh garlic, a little parsley, but you can also buy it about $6.99 it costs to get one of these. And depending on how big your pan is, is going to be how much you're gonna need. Now, because I'm using such a large pan, I can go ahead and add all this back into the pan. You wanna make sure the eggs don't cook, so now's the time to get that off the burner, okay? The eggs, think of this, it's almost like a bread pudding, and that brioche just makes it so creamy, it's just decadent. So I've sprayed out 
my casserole pan. And this again is a nice time of year to, to use a really good casserole dish like a Le Creuset because it holds the temperature the way it's built and it just moderates. So sometimes if you use a, a tin pan, it's, you're going to notice that the sides don't cook the same way and this just holds the temperature really well. So since my family loves Borson and my family at ABC does too, I'm going to put in about another half of one. So, oh my gosh, if you could just smell the aroma right here, it's perfect. So, what we're going to do next is it's all tossed, is we're going to put it in our prepared casserole, which means I've just sprayed it with food spray, and we're going to get it ready to bake 350 degrees. And listen, it's better to make your stuffing outside of the bird, save a quarter to a half a cup of the drippings and you can pour it on top for the last five minutes. When we come back, I'll take my pan out of the oven and you'll get to see what it looks like. Ooh, it's going to be really good. We are back and uh, Brioche tastes really good. Stuffing. You yeah, like that? The Borsone cheese yeah. I think kind of adds a lot. Mm -hmm. With leeks, sauteed mushrooms, caramelized leeks and fennel, I should say. Mm. So a great alternative to a traditional, more traditional stuffing. But John, I know you guys love the brioche. Oh, we do. So you can bring Thank it home. You. Thank get you. Get started. Make your French toast yes. a few days ahead of time. Put it in the fridge or the we freezer. Made your crunchy, we made your crunchy French toast over the weekend. It was You did? Yes. Oh, good. Absolutely good. Yeah, All right. Granola, it's fan, beautiful. Look it up on the website if you, if you don't know about it. It's really wonderful. This, too, would be absolutely fantastic for Thanksgiving Day meals on our website, mysuncoast.com. Click on the dining link page, and it'll take you right there. Judy, thanks so much. Thank you.